with History Services, part of the Libraries and History Division. And I'm here today at Tringali Rec Center, Tringali Park, right next to Inglewood Charlotte Library to dedicate our newest sign for Telling Your Story, Histories in the Park. Now this one uh, we are dedicating with Florence Buchan. Um, so we have this photo in our collection with our archives. And all of our archives, or a lot of our archive collection can be seen on the group. So you can go to the library's website and just click on the archives tab. Um, or you can go to our very new history services page on the library's and history website. And you can access a lot of these collections. So the point of these signs is to get you to understand and be a part of some of the history that we have in your area. So here we have Miss Buckin, and she's important because she was married to um, Jerome Buckin, and they had Buckin's Landing. Now Buckin's Landing is in the Sarasota part of Inglewood, but I really wanted to show that there is still a connection between Charlotte County and Sarasota County when it comes to Inglewood. There are those political boundaries that we have today, but with history and with stories and people's lives, sometimes those political boundaries really just interrupt the story. So we wanna get the full picture here. And we do have a very good collaboration with Sarasota County as well. Um, again, especially with Inglewood history because it's just kind of split in half. So Buckins Landing was actually on Old Inglewood Road and Dearborn Street. And it was very influential to a lot of the pioneer families in that area. Um, it was a place where they could get supplies. Uh, there weren't many stores here in the early 1900s. So they created Buckins Landing around 1916, 1970, oh, sorry, 17, um, off of Dearborn Street. And it really was just a two, it was a two-story building. They lived in part of the building and the other part was a store. So they just knew everybody in the area. All the pioneer settlers would go there to get supplies. So again, this is just to go and give you a little bit of history. We have a bunch of signs now. So this is our fourth sign. We are dedicating one each month of the Charlotte County Centennial. So you'll see me each month through 2021 at a new park or a rec center to dedicate a new sign and show you a little bit of history in that area. Thank you for 